Hello, my name's Claire. You might recognize me from Instagram or TikTok, but today we're back on the YouTube channel and I have a very exciting video for you guys. I've been planning this for literally months and collecting all of the best denim and the best brands to try for an athletic body type. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off with Legend London Co. I'm so excited to be sharing this brand with you guys. They sponsored today's video, so thank you so much to them for sending over all of these pieces to share with you. I also have a link down below in the top of the description for you guys to shop their Black Friday sale, which is gonna be up to 50% off the entirety of their website, which is super exciting. It's gonna be my first impressions. I've never tried their denim before. Let's go ahead and get into the first pair. These are the Skinny Jean Acid Gray Wash in a size six. Let's pull them out. Already off the bat, they've got so much stretch, which is amazing. And then they're also a soft but like sturdy denim, which is great. Like it still has a real denim feel while also being super stretchy. And then we've got like this lighter washed black gray color, which is hopefully going to be super flattering. So let's go ahead and throw these on. Okay, here is the first pair from Legend London Co. I feel like the black wash runs a little bit bigger than the blue colors. And maybe you could size down in those just because I've got a little bit of extra room like through the waist area. However, the leg fits perfectly honestly they have so much stretch i literally could like squat in these do some walking lunges i could do anything i feel unstoppable but yeah they sent over a size six and a size eight the six is definitely my preference i think that the pocketing details being smaller along the glutes is just super flattering honestly and then the length is right to the ankle which is perfect you can wear these with sneakers tuck them into boots whatever you need there's not any like extra length at the bottom this denim is just super flattering super stretchy and super comfy i also wanted to mention for you guys that the sale i talked about earlier for black friday is the biggest sale Legend London Co. has ever had in like their history of existence. So definitely this is the time to snag a couple pieces to try out if you're interested in a more athletic fit from denim because like I said these just have so much stretch, so much give and I'm just so excited about them. They're super cute. The next pair we have to try are the skinny jean and washed indigo blue in size 6. So same exact style just in this gorgeous blue color i think this wash is super cute a classic blue on denim and i'm really excited to try this out again this coloring way looks amazing and i think that the lighter fading on the glutes is going to be super flattering so i'm very excited to try this here is the washed indigo blue i think that these are a great staple pair of denim this washed darker blue denim is just such a classic colorway for denim and you can pair this with literally any color top dress these up dress them down they're honestly perfect. I love these ones. They fit super well along the glutes and waist. Feeling snatched. She's so cute. Like I said, I'm not usually the biggest dark denim fan, but these are like just the perfect amount of wash and distressing to the colorway here on like the thighs and glutes. So I find it super flattering and yeah, I'm just obsessed with these. And then lastly, we have the skinny jean and bleach blue in a size six. This is definitely similar to the kind of wash I normally go to for denim. As you can see here, like all the denim I've collected is in this lighter blue wash. So I'm very excited to try these out. I've been needing like a classic skinny jean that fits really well. So I'm super excited to try these. And yeah, this is just the color difference for reference between the indigo and then the bleach blue. This one's a bit darker, this one's a bit lighter. And then these are obviously my favorite pair just because this wash is killer. Like it's spot on to what I normally go for in denim. I think that these are so flattering along the waist. The lighter wash is definitely gonna emphasize the glutes really well, which we love, super cute. Again, we have to shout out the fact that they did a smaller, higher pocket because it frames the booty nicely, super flattering. Again, very stretchy. Literally could run a mile in these. You could sleep in these, that's how comfortable they are. But yeah, I just feel like for an athletic fit, this Legend London Co. brand slays. So cute, I just, I love these. Even with like this cute little white top, she's a moment. Next, we'll go ahead and move into Abercrombie. Very excited to share this denim with you guys. Starting off with the 90s straight ultra high rise. These are in a 25 regular length. 
This is what they look like. We've got some distressing on the knees, which I love. These have been worn so many times and washed so many times and they're still in great condition. They've got distressing along the hem as well, which is just really cute. I love a good distressing detail. These are a more loose through the leg fit. I think the only issue with these is they could go a little bit tighter in the waist. And I think the curve love fit of these might be a little bit better for me, but I've had these for over a year now and I still love them. Here are the ultra high rise straight pair on. Like I said before, they do have a little bit of give in the waist, but honestly it's not too bad because they're so secure in the glutes and hip area that it's not really like going anywhere. I just kind of wish we were snatched a little bit more in if I'm being overly particular. Definitely very high rise, which is kind of the reason I don't reach for them that much because I was very into a high rise moment and now I'm like a mid rise gal. I don't know, but these are still very cute. Again, you know I'm obsessed with the distressing detailing. I think they're flattering on the glutes. Definitely hit it like a full length, which is great for like sneakers and stuff. Honestly, such a good staple pair of denim for like a casual little outfit. Next is a really unique pair that I'm super into. These are in a 24 double zero regular in the Curve Love fit. So like I said, I like the Curve Love from Abercrombie because it tends to kind of flare out around the hips. So it allows you to go with your waist measurement, which is why I was able to snag a 24 in these as opposed to a 25. But they're like a carpenter fit. And then they've got this pocket detailing and some stitching down the front as well as stitching detailing down the back. Okay, so these carpenter style jeans also have that button fly and they're definitely the sturdiest denim from Abercrombie that we're trying today. These are the most like authentic feeling like thick kind of denim. I honestly love these. I think that they kind of hold on to the glutes nicely and I find them super flattering while also still being that really trendy baggy look. I think the waist is feeling decently snatched too which is great. I also appreciate a bit of a lower rise that's kind of what I'm into right now. Next from Abercrombie we have the 90s baggy low rise and these are in a 24 double zero long. Again sizing is kind of all over the board for Abercrombie for me like I can wear anywhere from like a 23 to a 25 depending on the different fit ranges as well as if it's the curved fit or not. But yeah, these are just the standard fit, not the curved one. They've got really cute and unique tears along the side of the jeans here on both sides. And then a little bit of distressing detail throughout the leg as well. Again, it's in that lighter washed blue color, which clearly there's a trend. I do love that wash on me and I feel like it's the easiest to style with. Here are the 90s baggy low rise. We've got a button fly. So that classic denim look. These are definitely more of a sturdy denim with little to no stretch. Um, but there's so much give and like room for that baggy fit in the hips that it definitely still fits the glutes nicely. Obviously it's not gonna be quite as flattering as something that's like tight along the booty, but I feel like this is definitely a more trendy piece that kind of looser denim look. Super cute. I feel like this with a pair of sneakers just serves, it gives, it's classic and iconic. And obviously we love the little distressing moment. But yeah, I got these in that longer fit. We definitely got some length here, which is great, honestly, because you can also roll the bottoms to like have it lay over your shoes like that if you want. So yeah, a lot of versatility. I've worn these with like a going out top and like booties and also done like the sneakers casual look with it. And then lastly from out of to show you guys, um, my dog is trying to eat them. These are the super skinny ankle high rise in a 24 double zero regular in the curved lug fit. So these have distressing details again on them, just like along the pocketing area, as well as at the bottom of the hem here. Super cute, good amount of stretch to them. And then these also have this V front hem. Here are these Abercrombie jeans again. We love this little cross waist right here. Definitely super flattering and I feel like it just helps snatch the waist and it also just makes it a little bit different than like your standard pair of denim. Very flattering on the booty, a little bit more compressed around here than Legend London Co. I think I like that the other brand has a bit more room through the glutes, but these are still super cute. Definitely got a good amount of stretch to them. Super soft and comfy again. I think this acid wash is definitely a little bit different than what I normally go for, but honestly very cute. And I think my favorite part is this distressing along the ankle. I just haven't seen that before really. Just a little different, a little quirky. I like it. I like it for custom. Okay. Next brand I have to show you guys is Fit Jeans. You've seen them on my channel a couple times. I grabbed three styles that I like from them the most and they will also be running a Black Friday sale and I'll have a discount code. I'll get all those details for you in the description down below. But starting off with this pair, I'm going to have to put the style names on the screen for you guys because I actually don't know. But these are an extra extra small. I'm pretty sure they're like a high rise skinny jean. But yeah, this is like a darker denim wash and I usually don't love dark denim wash 
on me, but these for some reason strike, so. Okay, I think with these on, you can kind of tell the difference between this pair of denim as opposed to Legend London Co. Firstly, the waist is a lot, lot higher, so it kind of limits your styling ability, at least for me, I have a harder time styling a higher rise pair of denim. I guess the other notable difference would be that the Legend London Co. has a very like traditional denim look to it when it's on, like it just looks like a tighter pair of skinny jeans, whereas these read more like a jegging, if that makes sense. So they're very form-fitting, very thin, if that makes sense. Show off the quads well. I think that the kind of wash to them along the glutes and quads, like I mentioned before, really adds to the illusion of curves very nicely. And then I have a very similar style, maybe even the same one, I'm not sure. Again, I'll put the details on the screen for you guys. These are a size extra small in this light gray wash. And yeah, this kind of color, again, fades on the glutes to be super flattering. Just your full length skinny jean that fits like a legging. Okay, and then here is the other skinny jeans look from Fit Jeans. Here they are up close. I just feel like this high of a rise is awkward on my long torso. So I usually just wear like a longer sweater with something like this just to like cover the waist situation. I don't know. Cause I like them on other people. And then when I like try to style them on me with the crop top, I feel unsure. However, super comfy. These are the extra small. The last ones were the extra, extra small. So just like a fit difference. Honestly, not super noticeable. Still very secure in my waist with lots of room. Really glutes. And yeah, I think that the fading on the denim again is just placed very strategically and well. And then lastly from them, this is my favorite style from Fit Jeans. This is in a size extra, extra small. And I'm blanking on the name again, so I'm going to pop it up on the screen for you here. But they're a bit of a wider fit towards the end with a tiny little split to kind of fold over your shoe nicely. And it fits really great with like boots, heels, sneakers, everything. And then it's a bit tighter around like the glute quad area. So they're super flattering without being like skinny jeans all the way through the bottom. They're in like this acidy wash, which I normally isn't my preference, but I really like these. Here's my favorite style of denim from Fit Jeans. Like I said, we've got a fitted situation through the top of the leg and then it just flares out towards the bottom, which I find really flattering. I also think along the glutes, it's super flattering. These are very, very comfy. But yeah, I love these ones. I've had them for over a year now, worn them so, so much and washed them so much and they still look and fit like they're brand new, which is great. That is these. Okay, last brand I have to show you guys is Topshop. I used to wear Topshop like early in college all the time and I outgrew the size like 24 I had then. So this is my first time trying them again in like a year and a half. We'll see what we think. My roommate Lena wears them all the time. They look so good on her. So I was like, I have to try again. But these are the Jamie style and I got them in a size 25. I don't know if I should have gotten a 26. So we'll see if I can get these on. But again, they're just a skinny jean style and this is in like a black wash. And then I got them in the length 32. I think they come in a 30 as well. Here are the Jamie jeans. And then this is my first time, like I said, trying that hourglass fit and I definitely love it. It's so much easier to get on than I remember my jeans in college being that were just like the classic Jamie look these fit great in my waist like I feel very snug and secure through here and then also fit the glutes really nicely these are pretty similar just like in cut and fit to the legend London Co however I do like the legend London Co's like rise a tiny bit more than these ones but still definitely like these a lot I think that the rise is not too high and also just when I'm being overly particular about jeans I definitely like when the zipper goes all the way to the bottom as opposed to like cutting off here which the fit jeans ones kind of do. If I'm being nitpicky, I definitely really like these for like little details like that. There's a bit of bagging like behind my knees and at the bottom of the ankle, but I think if I just rolled the bottom once, that would kind of solve that issue. Great top shop. Happy I tried these ones again. Next, I have the top. Oh, wait, okay. These ones are the top shop hourglass fit. And these are as well. So I think that's like similar to the Curve Love fit in Abercrombie where it's supposed to fit like someone with like a little bit of hip and glutes. So hopefully these fit okay. This next color is in bleach. And then it's the Topshop Hourglass Jamie jean. Waist 25, length 32 again. A classic light wash and honestly a similar feel as well, but a little bit less stretch. Nice feeling done. I'm excited to see how these fit because Topshop was my staple back in the day. Like going out in a black pair of Topshop skinny jeans was all me freshman year. Here's the other pair of Jamie jeans that I picked up in that hourglass fit. And they are a bit big and kind of like this region, but then they fit well in the glutes. And I think it's because that hourglass fit is cut for someone with wider hips, which I have pretty narrow like hip dips here and then just like bigger glutes. So I 
probably will end up returning these just because clearly I have so much denim to pick from now. And if it's not a perfect fit, then I'm going to go ahead and return. But this color on the other hand is definitely super cute. But like I said, I got a pretty similar color from Legend London Co. that we saw today. So when we go with the hourglass fit, if you're a little bit more gifted in the hip region than I am. The last style I have from Topshop is the Topshop Jamie Jean with thigh rip in mid blue, size 25, length 30. Yeah, so this one is not the hourglass fit. So then we can compare and see which one fits better. I can definitely tell just by holding them up that they don't have that same like flare out along the hip area. So hopefully we can get these on. I decided to try both fits just to kind of give you guys that comparison. I also picked these up from ASOS by the way and they were like running a sale so I got them discounted which is great. We love that. Here are the Jamie jeans in the normal non hourglass fit. Honestly sizing up to the 25 made them fit as well. So really you could go either way with them. Um, I think if you're a little bit more gifted in the hip region because I do have hip dips and then glutes so I feel like if you've got some booty some junk in the trunk but then also some hips then maybe the hourglass fit would be more ideal for you but if not you can honestly go with the normal fit just because they do have a lot of stretch to them also that bagging situation I was having towards the bottom of the pant and then also behind the knee is definitely fixed by going with the 30 length as opposed to the 32 so something to know thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you got some denim inspo for this fall winter season when we're going to be wearing all of our denim and staying warm out nobody needs to own this many pairs of jeans but if you did get some inspo from anything i showed make sure you use my support links and codes down below to support me and thank you so much if you choose to do that make sure to subscribe we have new videos coming every sunday at 10 a.m pst i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you next week love you